Welcome back. You're watching All Angles this afternoon. And a negative outlook on the country's tourism industry is the last thing we need, especially as we approach the festive season. Now, the murder of a German tourist um, has been widely reported, and this could be damaging our reputation. Tourism Minister Lindiwe Sisulu insists that the country is safe, saying just three tourists have been killed since 1994. Three too many, if you ask me. But anyway, let's discuss how this incident impacts Brand South Africa with Tepo Matseba. He's a communication and brand reputation specialist. A very good afternoon to you, Tepo. And I mean, the minister's saying it's nothing to be alarmed about. It's only ever happened three times um, since the dawn of democracy. But that doesn't really do much for brand SA and attracting tourism, particularly as we approach the festive season. What are your thoughts in the way that this has been handled to save brand SA? Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. To refer. I, I, unfortunately, it's so regrettable to hear remarks and that kind of positioning that, uh, you know, uh, only three tourists had uh, lost their lives uh, uh, since the dawn of democracy. In fact, uh, you may find that it's only three reported cases or mm. three cases that were profiled in mainstream media. But there are many, many incidents of crime that happen in South Africa that go unreported. If they are reported, uh, that they are uh, they are not followed through by, by the relevant authorities. So it, do, it is surely, surely regrettable uh, at that level of the minister uh, in, in the portfolio of tourism, such an important sector to, to position uh, such a significant loss of life um, as uh, just uh, one in, in, in three in, in many, uh, uh, years, um, uh, you know, even if you lose one life in 20 years, um, it's really, really uh, unnecessary. Uh, the level of crime uh, in our country does not help to position uh, the brand that is South Africa positively. Uh, both domestically and internationally, um, and the minute you have fears um, by citizens uh, of, our, of your own country and fears uh, by tourists, uh, uh, whether they're from Germany, the U.S., or from China, um, the possibility is that a lot of people who had their bags ready to come and see us may actually withdraw that travel investment and go somewhere else. Uh, so the risk is quite significant, uh, and how we respond uh, to this level of crime um, is as important as dealing with the crime itself. And just calling it uh, three in 20 years or three in 30 years um, is actually uh, embarrassing and insulting, uh, to be honest, uh, to those who lost their lives. Yes. Tapa, so then how do we fix this narrative? How do we convince people that South Africa is indeed a destination that you want to spend time in? You want to spend your summer in Johannesburg or any other part of the country? Um, I mean, I've been reading German media um, after this event took place, and they've been very, very specific in highlighting our high levels of unemployment, the high levels of crime, the high levels of inequality quality so that brand how does um, a government and related stakeholders begin to change the narrative when every single article in the last few days from international media is very specific about mentioning all the negatives that we have in the country yeah look uh, the first starting point of uh, addressing a, a, a damaging situation such as crime is to acknowledge uh, openly that there is crime and that um, uh, to a certain extent the South African police and our law enforcement officials um, are not capacitated fully to deal with crime. Yeah. Um, and once you once you start there, you begin to to give us, us a sense um, that there's an acknowledgement, and that acknowledgement enables you to plan appropriately and resource appropriately for crime. We know that crime happens everywhere else in the world. Uh, um, but for purposes of South Africa, um, crime has been rising and rising every year. The level of murder rates uh, in our country is actually shockingly high. And so uh, you don't want the country that is in denial and tone deaf uh, in the sense that we come across as if um, there, there is no crime or that we are managing uh, the crime situations, uh, situation correctly. I think that the, the most important thing for right now is for us to hear the right type of messages uh, from the security cluster, the right type of messages from uh, tourism, 
course, and the right type of messages from international relations, reassuring uh, investors, reassuring tourists, and reassuring people who are here domestically uh, that crime will be um, uh, dealt with as swiftly as possible and in a consistent manner. But being uh, in denial can only serve to create more problems uh, for ourselves. You know, as we speak right now, um, uh, organizations like Brand South Africa are embarking on different interventions around the world. Um, but uh, in one of the markets that uh, South Africa operates in as a key strategic partner, if markets China, uh, they take crime very, very seriously. And and for, for a market like China, one murder is one too many. And, mm. and, and I, I guess it would be similar for Germany and any other market. So how we reverse this situation is for South Africa and particularly the South African police to demonstrate that they are dealing with crime and doing so consistently and that there's no day off or night off where we're not dealing with uh, uh, the crime situation. Otherwise, um, we create a space for speculation, but we we'll also create a space for punitive uh, internationally to create a view and a perception about our country. And that's not only going to damage our reputation, but will also kill and destroy that uh, much needed foreign direct investment. And that's the problem here, Atapo, is that South Africa is known to be very reactionary. We're not a proactive country. And the fact that you are calling on the security cluster, international relations department, tourism, and other uh, related stakeholders to come out and assure both locally and internationally people that uh, we are a good country, we are a brand worth uh, investing in, that's unlikely to happen. You know, we probably won't be hearing that kind of cer certainty from these key institutions. Yeah, isn't it? That's the sad part. Uh, and we've seen this when we had the unrest last year in July 2021, and um, that uh, there was a failure to have a coordinated uh, message, a coordinated message around intelligence in our country. Now, we know that there's, there's a lot of crime, but, but at least if you said to us as citizens and you said to uh, uh, the tourists that you have a strategy and part of the strategy is to eliminate um, uh, firearms and illegal firearms on, on, on South African uh, streets. Um, that would be a, a starting point. But the problem uh, here is that there are beautiful documents that are written by independent consultants no one knows um, how to assist in this uh, strategic uh, uh, documents mm. that, are, as I say, are often compiled by consultants. It's very, very sad.